A decade ago, being a billionaire was rare, and such wealth was amassed over decades. However, with the digital revolution, many individuals all across the globe have done it in less than 30 years. Because of family inheritances, family companies, and technological startups, there are now more young billionaires than ever before, with the youngest being only 21 years old. Yes, you got that right. Would you like to meet them? If yes, stay tuned and don't touch that dial, as we will look at the top 8 youngest billionaires in 2022. Number 8. Alexandra Anderson Opening our list, we have Alexandra Anderson. Rated third among the youngest billionaires, the 25-year-old Norwegian lady has an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion. Her riches come from Fern, an investment business she inherited. The yearly revenue is expected to be in the $2 billion range. Her sister was also awarded a 42% stake in the investment business. Fern is a private equity firm based in Oslo specializing in real estate and Nordic stock market operations. However, their father, Johan, controls the business and gets 70% of the votes. Number 7. Stanley Tang Stanley Tang, 29 years old, was born in Hong Kong before moving to the United States in the early 1990s. Tang has been an artist since the early 1990s, and his work has been shown in museums and galleries all around the globe. Tang's paintings and sculptures investigate the connection between natural and artificial forms and the way they are linked. Tang's work has been shown in the New York Museum of Modern Art, the Whitney Museum of American Art, the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa, and the Art Institute of Chicago. Tang is currently worth $1.2 billion, a fortune which is mostly contributed by DoorDash, a food delivery app. Moving on to number 6. Pedro Francesi Pedro Francesi is the co-founder and CEO of Brax, a fintech business that aims to reinvent the corporate credit card. In 2012, while they were both high school students in their native nation of Brazil, he met co-founder Henrique Duburgas in a Twitter fight. In 2013, the duo established Pagar.me, a payments firm for small businesses in Brazil, which they sold to a bigger Brazilian competitor in 2015. Franceschi raced in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and attended Stanford for less than a year alongside Duburgas before dropping out to create Brax in 2017. In January 2022, he became a billionaire when Brax, located in California, received funds from private investors who valued the firm at $12.3 billion. Number 5. Andy Fang Andy Fang, 28 years old, is a Chinese-American entrepreneur who built multiple successful firms, including Brightcove, Maker Studios, and Bebo, a social networking platform. Fang is a philanthropist who has given millions of dollars to charity organizations. Fang was born in 1978 in Beijing, China. When he was only 5 years old, he and his family relocated to the United States, and Fang obtained a bachelor's degree in business administration from the University of Southern California. After graduating, Fang worked as a financial analyst for the investment giant Goldman Sachs. In 2006, he left Goldman Sachs to launch his own software startup, Brightcove. Brightcove became one of Silicon Valley's most successful firms. Fang was named one of Forbes' 50 most influential people in technology in 2011. Fang started Maker Studios, an internet video firm, in 2012. Maker Studios became one of the most successful businesses in history, and Fang was named one of the 50 most influential people in the world. Andy Fang's main source of income is DoorDash, a food delivery app making him to have a net worth of $1.1 billion. Number 4. Austin Russell Austin Russell is the founder and CEO of Luminar Technologies in the United States. Russell was born in 1995 in California, USA. Russell, an optical prodigy, dropped out of Stanford in 2012 after receiving a $100,000 TL fellowship to found Luminar Technologies, a company that creates sensors and other technology for self-driving vehicles. Its sensors now help self-driving cars from Volvo and Toyota by bouncing laser beams off adjacent objects and the vehicle surroundings. Luminar went public in December through an SPAC transaction. Russell owns around one-third of the company, making him have a net worth of $1.6 billion. Number 3. Gustav Magnar Witzo Gustav Magnar Witz is a Norwegian millionaire who has a large stake in Salmar ASA a salmon farming company. He is regarded as one of the world's youngest billionaire. Gustav Magnar Witzo is only 29 years old, according to Forbes. His main source of riches is fish farming, making him worth a total of 2.3 billion US dollars. And now moving on to number 2. Evan Spiegel 
If you are a true lover of Snapchat, you have every reason to thank this guy. Evan was born in Los Angeles, California on December 27, 1987. Evan Spiegel is the inventor and CEO of Snapchat a popular messaging app among teens and young adults. Spiegel was designated one of the world's youngest billionaires in 2014, and according to Forbes, Evan Spiegel has a net worth of $2.5 billion. And finally, let's go take a look at number 1. Sam Bankman Fried Samuel Bankman Fried is a businessman from the United States. He founded and is the CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange FTX. He also manages assets via Almeida Research, a quantitative Bitcoin trading business he founded in October 2017. According to Forbes, Sam Bankman Fried is 29 years old. Sam Bankman's source of money is crypto trading along with other ventures, all of which make him have an estimated net worth of $17.1 billion. Everyone will attain the goal they have set for themselves sooner or later. The only difference is that some people acquire it while they are younger and others when they are older. Work hard and you will get both respect and money. I hope you get that notion of the world's youngest billionaires. What is your biggest dream? Let us know in the comment section down below. Keep doing that and also make sure to check out our video and how the super rich of Dubai spend their billions. Until the next one, peace out.